and welcome to my new video. If you're new here, hi, I'm Lex and this is Antilia. Today I'm just going to start out with a big thank you to my Discord community for having me over. Several of them let me come and learn DIYs and I'm so grateful. If you'd like to join our community and participate in giveaways or just chat with everybody, the link is in the description. Feel free to join us. Today I'm so excited to tour my top five fairy core dream addresses. These are the ones that simply inspire me all the time and I'm so excited to get started here. I am a big fan of fairy core even though I've never attempted it. I think the islands are incredible and we're gonna start out with one of my close friends in the community, Katie. I didn't have any good clothing to wear so I checked her custom designs and picked my favorite dress. Thank you Katie for that. I also will open the gifts where there are some so that you know what to expect. Katie has left out clothes, uh, super cute ones, also a Santa outfit which was adorable. I kept my dress on that I got from Katie because it's cute. But um, yeah, I was already astounded just at the entrance. This is an island that has inspired me since before I even made an Animal Crossing Instagram. I have pictures from Katie's account saved on my personal, like, this island is not a joke. Opal Shore has always been incredibly inspiring for the community as a whole, not even just Fairy Core. So I was so honored to be able to tour it for this video. I mean, look at this. The waterscaping is incredible. All of the snow makes it just magic. This is just a beautiful island all around. I think one big element of Fairy Core can be making things feel tucked away. Most Fairy Core islands that I've encountered have been very foresty. Everything is sort of in its own little nook, and I think that really adds to the mystical aspect, the really surreal and ethereal feeling of a Fairy Core island. Katie does that perfectly, as you can see the areas we're walking through. They're so tucked away. Every like aspect of this island is incredible. All of the buildings feel like they're just surrounded and it does feel like one big fairy forest. I highly recommend wandering around the dream address if you have the time because this island is just so much to see. This museum is an example of one of the things I had saved on my personal account. I mean it's gorgeous. I absolutely adore this area. I may have even been like subconsciously inspired by this when I was making Florian's museum. It's just so beautiful. I also love how colorful some fairy core islands can be. Katie has an island that uses a ton of mushroom furniture, which I think is beautiful. And there are so many little areas like this one. This is a little mum crown, like crafting area. And it's precious. Look at the Stonehenge in the background. Look at the pathing. It's just beautiful. Also, here's the fairy's house. I also loved these little tucked away areas that you had to jump to. I love that path that looks like a little rug made out of snow. If you want any of the codes you see, make sure you check the creators of these islands. Their social media will be linked below, and if they have the codes public, you'll be able to find them there. I do not have all of the codes for the five dream addresses. Here is Katie's map, just in case you missed the dream address. And now we journey to the island of Rosebell. This island blew me away. You can see how beautiful the terraforming is already. You can see how much waterscaping there is to see. It was astounding. There are also several houses. So if you'd like to go and tour those, I definitely recommend visiting as I don't visit them in this video. I'll open these presents as well, just so you can see what is left out here in case you're interested yourself. I was really grateful for another outfit to wear because I definitely just was not dressed for the occasion. And this is so cute. I love this dress and the shoes. I felt like a little fairy myself wandering through this incredible island. It was so calming, especially with all of the petals falling around, the trees with their pink cherry blossoms. It was stunning to walk through, especially here at sunset. And look at this little beekeeping area. This is precious. 
The waterfall makes it so serene. I had to lie down on the picnic blanket just to the right because it was beautiful. You know, this could be you. Visit the dream address. Realize your dreams. This island is another good fairy core example of tucking things away. Everything felt so close and natural and there were so many like intersecting pathways that it was so interesting to just run around and see how everything connected, I guess. This little residential area I thought was just beautiful. I mean, look at the two houses. Oh my gosh, the pathing and everything was just perfect. I feel like the whole time I was here, I just kept running into villagers or their like representatives that live on the island, the characters. I feel like the entire time I just kept rudely running into them. So a broad apology to anyone who was affected by my rude behavior. Also, I was obsessed with Rosebell's beaches. This pier is so nicely decorated and the pathing on the sand looked incredible. I was also stunned to find this little alcove tucked away, this little like bear tea party. I thought that was so cute and surrounded by water, hard to get to. It was just a stunning place to stumble across. This island was packed with these small areas that had so much detail. The stalls here were so beautiful. And I loved how many arches there were throughout the island. Wedding arches, stone arches, all gorgeous. I also captured this really cute clip of one of the characters walking around on this pathway. I loved how winding it was. The path everywhere just looked so natural. Now we find ourselves on the island of Blush by Blush Fairy. I love this island. I've visited it in the past and I'll likely visit again. It's just so calming and beautiful. This time of day is perfect. And again, the gifts are clothing you can wear to fit in with the fairy vibe. I'm so grateful to these fairy core islands for dressing me. Thank you for being my stylist today. And how cute is this? I love that this is a super wintry uh, fairy core island. We've got this like ice skating rink here, which I thought was adorable. And again, a super winding natural pathway throughout the island. I loved all of the pink. I feel like I definitely associate pink with fairy core, even though there are lots of colors that go into the theme. I love seeing how different fairy core creators handle the beaches and I absolutely loved how Chessie made this little carousel out of a mush parasol and rocking horses. Those are so precious. And Chessie went for a super simple open vibe with her beaches, which I definitely respect. I also enjoyed seeing a pop of color here in the blues around Sherb's house. That was super precious to see. I explored more of the beaches and I found this little mermaid like on the rocks, this little alcove, and I just imagined like mer fairies came here and it's super cute. I love that furniture and I've said it in the past, I really wish I had more use for it on my own island. Yet again, we have an island that's perfect to visit if you're looking for some terraforming inspiration, looking for how to make things feel tucked away but still accessible. Look how beautiful this house is and it's so just, it's in its own nook. Like, it feels surrounded and cozy and homey even though it's way far into these cliffs. You kind of feel like you're walking through a labyrinth but it's so accessible even so. All of the lights were also beautiful at this time of day. Everything is still lit up and it was just gorgeous. I loved these winding paths in front of the museum as well. I found this area with a pop of red as well and I just really appreciated how this creator was able to work in so many colors and yet still the island just screams that pink natural theme. It just looks so cohesive, and that's definitely an accomplishment. These were two of my favorite areas, uh, Chessie's house and the campsite, and I just so enjoyed visiting this beautiful, colorful island. 
Next, I visited Gemini Land, another beautiful island with tons of waterscaping and terraforming. This island also had a very pink theme, so this take on Fairy Core was familiar. It's absolutely stunning. I loved walking around. Once again, we have this illuminated furniture that's still up. It's just absolutely beautiful. I didn't know which way to go because there were three different ways off of the entrance, but I went to the right and I was glad I did because this area was gorgeous and Ketchup was walking around. So I got to uh, just walk around with her for a bit. We were exploring the Able Sisters shop, which if you can't tell is absolutely stunning, especially with all of the lights. As always, I did venture onto the beaches and I loved this little fairy core picnic area as well as look at that bridge in the distance like that's so cool also there was a heart pond I didn't even notice that on the map but it's so cute I spent so much time just running through all of the pathways, admiring all of the lights and the flowers, the decor this creator used. It just, the theme was so solid. It felt so beautiful and mystical. Definitely fairy core vibes. I also loved this little like orchard and plant shop and check out this like Santa sleigh. I went onto the beach to get a better view and stunning is the only word I have. I also found this little pumpkin patch, which I thought was adorable. I don't often see a lot of orange used in Fairy Core Islands, but it fit here. It really did. And this beach was probably my favorite. It looked just gorgeous. All of the furniture was so cohesive and the flowers were so calming. I decided to look at the left side of the island and look at this little tree farm. Look at the baby cedar trees. They're so little. I'm just obsessed with baby trees. Definitely use them on your island. They are so cute. I also loved this kind of gradient flower garden we have here. We have pink, purple, and blue flowers. And this early in the day, the purple flowers themselves almost looked like dark blue. Amidst the trees, I found this fairy circle and the Nova lights just really make this area pop. I loved how well this turned out. I mean, it looks just gorgeous. Next, I headed over to the beautiful island of Nekuchi. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly. Um, again, beautiful waterscaping and the area right behind resident services looked super interesting. So I went there first and I was not disappointed. This is stunning. All of the lights in the distance, the dollhouses that you can barely see the silhouettes of, just beautiful. I decided to venture south next just because I liked the frozen archway that led here. And this area was so cute. I was obsessed with this beach. I loved all of the different furniture that this creator was able to incorporate. Like the kids tent, I never would have put a blue and white one here, but it vibes with this area. It really does. This island also incorporates elements of tropic horror, which was so cool to see. I love it when people are able to successfully mix themes and this island certainly did. Another example is this little outdoor pool that we have here. So beautiful. And I loved the snack and drink machine details. Super accurate. It was also interesting to see these elements in the winter as I've always seen Tropicore in the summer, but it looked so cute in this weather as well. And this house was gorgeous. The soft pink hues were just super calming. And this little tent really did it for me. Like, look how cute it is, nestled among the cliffs. Super adorable. And we have some more tropical elements here. The backdrop of the ocean was perfect. So this elevated pool area and like personal spa was super cool. You know I love reading areas as well. So I was obsessed with this little picnic blanket right by the house.
was obsessed with these little hop hop islands and the beautiful statue in front of the waterfall. It was so beautiful. All of the colors on this island were also so perfect. Like this creator was just able to work so many colorful flowers. It was such a whimsical island, much like the first one I visited in this video. And I guess this creator did use a lot of flowers that do fit with the Tropicore theme. So it was interesting to see all of them in the areas that were super fairy core because it all fit together. It all looked fantastic. And with that, my tours for today come to an end. I hope that you found those dream addresses so inspiring for your own fairy core island or just beautiful to see if you're not even attempting fairy core. I certainly did. I just want to say a quick thank you to all of my members. I really appreciate you being here and supporting the channel. You all mean the world to me. So just thank you so much. And to everyone watching, thank you for being here. I can't wait to make the next video and I hope I'll see you there. Here is Peaches to tell you all goodbye until next time. All of the islands were so beautiful and I loved them. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.